What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and it is time to give you another game preview slash game prediction here for the 2023 slash 2024 college football season and our game preview slash game prediction will be the 2024 college football playoff semifinal matchup between the number fourth ranked Alabama Crimson Tide and the number one ranked Michigan Wolverines. So it is time to make my official predictions for the college football playoff semifinal games. We're going to be starting with the first game here the number one versus number four matchup here uh, between Alabama and Michigan and then tomorrow we're going to have Washington uh, versus Texas we got the playoff games uh, coming up next Monday so we're going to go ahead and give you my official prediction since I haven't done a video in a while and also I have a big announcement coming up on Friday that's when I'll make the big announcement if you saw in the community tab or anything like that so we're going to get to my game preview slash game prediction here on this game uh, going to go through the stack comparison here between these two teams Give you the game summary of what time this playoff semifinal matchup will be. And also who the favorite going into this playoff semifinal matchup will be as well. And then we'll take a look at both teams' previous game results from the 2023 season. And then we'll give you the prediction at the end of this video. And I'm going to predict how I think the game's going to go down. So let's get right into my official prediction here for the uh, college football playoff semifinal matchup between the number fourth ranked Alabama Crimson Tide and the number one ranked Michigan Wolverines. And we'll start with the stat comparisons here between these two teams uh, starting with Alabama they come into this playoff semifinal matchup with a record of 12 and 1 uh, this team is averaging about 35.1 points per game so yeah this is not the most explosive Alabama, Alabama offense that we've seen in recent years you know back in the old days but this offense has gotten better you look at the total yards per game for Alabama uh, they're averaging about 401.2 yards per total yards this year uh, that number was in the 300s you know in the low 300s you know in the first half of the year but ever since the second half of the year this Alabama offense has been very explosive it's been a lot better you know ever since the beginning of the second half of the college football season passing yards per game about 228.5 yards per passing uh, Jalen Milrow got off to a really sluggish start in the first half of the season you know he was benched in the South Florida game but you know the second half of the year he's been much better I think you know Jalen Milrow started to develop really well as a quarterback for Alabama probably since that Tennessee game you look at his numbers on the year about 2,718 yards of passing 23 touchdown passes and then about six interceptions so yeah he has thrown six interceptions but he's been taking care of the football recently as of late so that is the passing yards for Alabama rushing yards for Alabama this is a team that can run the football pretty decently they've been running the football a lot better especially with Jalen Milrow at quarterback and then obviously their running backs uh, they're averaging about 172.7 yards per rushing on the ground you look at Jace McClendon 800 103 yards on the year and about six rushing touchdowns. Uh, he's one of their top running backs in the backfield. And then offensively and defensively in the rankings for the Crimson Tide. Uh, this team is 55th on offense. So yes, they're not the most talented offense. But again, this offense has gotten better in the second half, especially in the 2023 season. And then defensively, obviously they're 19th on defense. This Alabama defense is always pretty good under the Nick Saban era and everything. So they're at least a top 20 defense in that ranking. So those are the stats there for the Alabama and Crimson Tide and then looking at Michigan they're coming into this playoff semifinal matchup undefeated at 13-0 and uh, this team is averaging about 36.7 points per game you look at the total yards per game for Michigan uh, this is not the most talented Michigan offense that we haven't seen you know since the last couple years but this team is still either way really good on the offensive side of the football this team is averaging about 380.5 yards per total yards this year passing yards per game for Michigan about 218.8 yards per passing you look at J.J. McCarthy on the season, about 2,630 yards of passing, 19 passing touchdowns, and then about four interceptions. So uh, J.J. McCarthy hasn't thrown that much inter, you know, interceptions, and he also hasn't thrown that much touchdown passes. But still, he's having a really good season for this Michigan team. I think he is a lot better kind of compared to last year. Uh, you look at the rushing yards for Michigan. This is a Michigan team that can run the football pretty well. I'm kind of surprised that that number is not at least at the 180 mark or maybe the 200-yard mark. But this team is averaging about 161.8 yards per rushing. Blake Corum, obviously one of the top running backs in the history of Michigan football. Um, about 
228 yards on the year and about 24 rushing touchdowns. So again, one of the top running backs in the history of the Big Ten. And then offensively and defensively in the rankings, they're kind of similar to Alabama. The offense might be might not be the most talented offense. Again, they're 70th, 70th on offense. That offensive number has gone down quite a bit. But then defensively in the rankings, they're the second best defense in the country. So Michigan, that's where they've been dominant this year is, the, is definitely the defensive side of the football. So these are the stat comparisons here between these two teams, between Alabama and Michigan. Uh, stat comparison-wise, Alabama with the advantage in the total yards per game. They also have the advantage in the passing yards and running game. They, they really have the advantage in all the offensive numbers. But Michigan is averaging more points than Alabama. So, and then offensively and defensively in the rankings, Alabama has the advantage in the offensive ranking, and then defensively, Michigan has the advantage there. So these are the stat comparisons here between these two teams heading into this playoff semifinal matchup. Let's now get to the game summary here for this playoff game. So it will be the number one no, number one versus number four seeded here matchup. Again, it's Alabama versus Michigan here. Uh, this game is going to be at 5 o'clock Eastern time, so it is the first official game of 2020. Um, and also, but it's also the first official playoff semifinal game. And this game will be held at the Rose Bowl, where the uh, Rose Bowl is located at in Pasadena, California. I don't really know how to pronounce that location, but this game will be on ESPN, of course. And the spread's going to the Wolverines by two points here, and the over and under will be at 44.5 for this game. So they're kind of predicting this game to be a low-scoring type game. You look at Alabama, they're coming in with a record of 12-1. and uh, Their only loss coming to Texas in the regular season in week number two. You know, the first half of the year, we look at Alabama, the storylines going into this game. They're coming off that big win in the SEC championship against Georgia. And, you know, ever since the beginning of the year, you know, Alabama, you know, got doubted in the first half of the year after that Texas and South Florida games. But then ever since those lo that loss to Texas, Alabama has been a much better team. You know, they have looked really good on the offensive side of the football. Defensively, they have been looking really dominant as of late on that side of the football. The defense played especially well in the SEC championship game against Georgia and everything. So Alabama, again, they're coming in on a momentum. You know, they're coming into this one with a momentum on their uh, back and everything. Again, Jalen Milrow has been red hot as of late, and also the offense just continues to be very good for this Alabama team. And again, this is an Alabama team that I doubted after, you know, that Texas and South Florida games. You know, Jalen Milrow got benched in that South Florida game, but then once he came back, you know, the second half of the year, he He's just been much better. And I think it kind of started all in that Tennessee game back in the month of October. And that's where Alabama's offense just started to be very explosive. The wide receivers have been really good as well. You look at Michigan, obviously, coming in at undefeated. I think this is the first time that a Big Ten team has been ranked number one in the college football playoff. I really don't know over the years, you know, over the college football playoff. But maybe this is the first time that, like, a Big Ten team has been ranked number one. I really can't remember the history of the playoff and everything. But... Again, Michigan comes in at undefeated 13-0. Remember the first half of the year, Jim Harbaugh was suspended for those first three games. And then second half of the year, he came and came back and everything. And then, of course, you know, the second half of the year and the final three regular season games, he got suspended. But Michigan, again, you know, they proved us wrong in almost every single game without Jim Harbaugh. And again, they proved us wrong in that Ohio State game. I did pick Michigan to win that game even without Jim Harbaugh just because of the home field advantage and everything. But a lot of people out of Michigan going into that Ohio State game, but they were once again able to win the Big Ten East, and they were also able to win the Big Ten Championship for the third consecutive year in a row. So this game will be at 5 o'clock Eastern time on January the 1st. It is on a Monday. Again, Michigan favored by two, two points in this one. And you look at the FBI, the matchup predictor here. Uh, the FBI favors Michigan as well. It's a really close matchup predictor, though, between these two teams. I mean, it's a pretty even ball game. It's about a 50-50 game for me anyway. And you look at Michigan, they're, the FBI gives them about a 55.6% chance to beat Alabama in this one. And then for the FBI, the, um, they give Alabama about a 44.4% chance uh, to beat Michigan in this playoff semifinal. So those are the storylines going into this game. And also, those are the game, that is the game 
Sports Summary here for this Rose Bowl matchup and also this playoff semifinal matchup between the number one ranked Michigan Wolverines and the number fourth ranked Alabama Crimson Tide. Let's now go to the previous game results here for both of these teams. Uh, you look at Alabama again, they're coming into this game with a record of 12-1. and one. Uh, You look back on that November 4th, that month of November, you saw they beat LSU here on November 4th, 42-28. They defeated Kentucky on the road pretty easily, 49-21. That was a dominating performance there by this Alabama offense on November 11th. Defeated Chattanooga pretty easily, 66-10 on November 18th. And then they had that classic Iron Bowl matchup with Auburn on the road on November 25th. That was probably one of the best games of the year and obviously the best game in the SEC that year as in this year as well. Uh, they won that game 27-24. And then they're recently, they defeated Georgia in the SEC Championship 27-24 back on December the 2nd. So um, when they come into this playoff semifinal matchup, it's going to be like a month before, like after Alabama, you know, played a game. So it's it goes like for both of these teams. You know, this will be the first time that they played a game in like a month. So we'll see what the practices have been like for both of these teams. But again, those are the previous game results for Alabama. They again come in with a record of 12 and 1. You look at Michigan, they come in with a record of 13 and 0. You look at their previous game results. Uh, they defeated Purdue back on November 4, 41 to 13 at home. Uh, they defeated Penn State on the road November 11, 24 to 15. That was the beginning of Jim Harbaugh's suspension for the final three games of the year. Uh, they so they survived a close game there with Penn State on the road 24 to 15 then they defeated Maryland on the road on November 18 31 to 24 that was a very close win there for this Michigan team and then back on November 25th they defeated their rival Ohio State in rival week 30 to 24 that was enough for them to make it to the Big Ten championship and then obviously back on December the 2nd they defeated Iowa in a shutout um, yeah shutout 26 to 0 um, so that was um, they took care of business in the Big Ten championship so so looking at the previous game result comparisons here between these two teams, I think Alabama has played a much more tougher schedule, you know, this year than, you know, Michigan has because Alabama had to play Texas in the non-conference. But, you know, the schedule kind of got easier for Alabama as the games went down. You know, LSU was probably one of their toughest games left on the schedule. But then Auburn out of nowhere just competed with Alabama. So these are the previous game results here for both of these teams heading into this playoff semifinal matchup. Let's now get to my official prediction for the college football playoff semifinal matchup here. Again, it's Alabama versus Michigan, the number one versus number four seed here in the college football playoff. It is the Rose Bowl. Again, this game's on January the 1st at 5 o'clock Eastern time. It should be a pretty good one. You know, both of these defenses, I think, are pretty even. I think offensively, both of these teams will might struggle in this game, but I'm really anxious to see what's going to happen in this game. So, again, a lot of storylines going into this game. Alabama got in here as the number four seed just because because they won their conference championship and they got in there over an undefeated Florida State team. That was obviously the biggest storyline as well going into this game. But, um, Again, how I think the game's going to go down, I think this is game, like, according to the over and under and everything, I think it's going to be a low scoring type game. I think both offenses might struggle in this game, and then defensively, I think it's going to be all about defenses in this game. But second half, I think, you know, by the late fourth quarter, I think that's where, you know, offense, you know, offensively, both teams start to pick up speed and everything. But with that being said, you know, the way that Alabama has been playing these days, I really like how they've been playing as of late. So with that being said, I mean, I do like Alabama in this game. I know Michigan's been really good as of late as well, but the way that Alabama's been playing and the way that Jill Milrow has been developing as a quarterback, I think Alabama pulls off the upset here. So I'm going with Alabama here. I think this is an upset here um, against the number one team in the country in Michigan. So I think Michigan does miss out. You know, I don't have confidence in this game that Michigan is going to lose, but, you know, I think Alabama, I just have confidence in them that they uh, might pull off an upset here just because of the way they've been playing these days. And I think Alabama wins this one 24-21. So a close game here, a defensive battle in this one. I think the Texas and Washington game is going to be a high-scoring game. Again, that prediction is coming out tomorrow. But, again, this is my official prediction here for the college football playoff semifinal matchup here uh, between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Michigan Wolverines in the first playoff semifinal game in the Rose Bowl. So that is my official prediction. Let me guys know what you think about this prediction. Um, who's your pick to win this playoff semifinal? Is it Alabama or Michigan? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and thanks for watching this game preview slash game prediction video and stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my Lucas Ross sports channel.